Well, then, it's my huge pleasure to be here today in order to tell you how we use life-engineered bacteria for breaking the wall of cancer. So who would have thought that life bacteria that everyone knows, but probably rather from causing disease, one day by engineering may be used to treat other diseases? And so it's my ambition today in this wonderful building to tell you how we engineer these bacteria in order to do so. So the wall we're talking about, the wall of cancer, to me personally, is a wall of people. So you see these famous people appearing that all passed away from the disease. And to me, this sheer dimension of this wall is probably best depicted by the fact that each of you will be able to fill the last slot in this wall with the beloved person. Classically, when approaching this wall, one talks of chemotherapy, which I would say is the sledgehammer. And now, really, it's my ambition to convince you in the upcoming minutes that smartly engineered bacteria may provide a better solution. And probably the biggest differentiator to classical chemotherapy may be a targeting, so a targeted therapy. And so we also said we have to engineer our bacteria to only grow and replicate within a tumor. So you see this bacteria in blue sitting within the orange tumor, and then above you see the immune cells in green. What is very special about solid tumors is that the immune system is very weakly active there. So we aim at engineering our bacteria to be very weak, so they would be easily killed by the normal active immune system, but still bold enough in order to be able to replicate within a solid tumor. So we ended up with the strain having seven targeted knockouts, and for this, in animal models, we validated, in the end, what we had hoped to observe. So the higher we go on the bar on the y-axis, the more life bacteria you get. This is in animal models of tumors, four days upon systemic administration of these bacteria. What you see is that four days after administration, blood, spirulene, lung, there are no more live bacteria detectable, while within the solid tumor, we end up having more than 100 million live bacteria per gram of tissue. So it's a huge amount of live bacteria on site in order to act on the tumor. And what is even more nice is that it does not request that you molecularly understand the specific, uh, specific tumor epitope. So there is, this is broadly applicable to many solid tumor types. So having so many of these bacteria within a tumor, you obviously want to empower them to be harmful to the tumor. And to this end, we use an intrinsic bacterial system. So you see the bacteria are depicted with these needles at the periphery. And these needles they have by nature in order to inject proteins right into human cells. So we said the system is beautiful. We just have to make use of it to deliver active proteins that will act on the tumor. So by now, we have worked with over 200 different proteins on this platform. I'm going to show you one example where we deliver human proteins that recruit the immune cells to come within the tumor and there combat the tumor on its own. So we validated this in several animal models. We add the bacteria, they inject their human proteins, immune system is recruited, and in 30 to 60 percent of cells of tumors, of mice with the tumors, we see a complete and durable tumor remission. And then we said, well, if we really managed to activate the immune system properly, even a month or two later, if re-challenged, re-exposed to the same tumor cells, the immune system should wake up and by itself combat these tumor cells without any additional treatment. This we tested in a very nasty, challenging setup, where we re-exposed the animals with black tumor cells causing uh, metastatic lesions on the lungs. And what you see is the difference we observe in these models. So in untreated mice, you see many of these black lesions on the lungs. This is one and a half months after the last treatment with our bacteria. Below, you see the difference if they have received the treatment before. So this, to me, is the whole promise of the cancer immunotherapy. You treat even locally, you get the long-lasting and systemic impact. So our company is built on a solid patent estate for a patents family composition of matter. There is a simple and low cost of good manufacturing, so we really aim at reaching many patients. I think we work day by day in order to be, to be able to have the first patient enrolled in clinical trials early 2020, and from there we want to expand it to reach many more patients, which is our true ambition. And I think all this with ambition to breaking the wall of cancer. And with this, I'm open for your questions, and thank you for the attention.